Hi, it's James here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can send marketing emails from inside Gmail. In the past, if you wanted to send marketing emails, you'd have to sign up for a third party service like MailChimp or something like that so that you could send marketing emails. You'd also need that all important unsubscribe button included on your email so you don't fall foul of local laws and requirements. However, in 2022, that's all changed. You can now send marketing emails from inside Gmail, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So, as you can see, we're now looking at Gmail. First off, what you need to do though is create your marketing list and you do this through Google Contacts. So now we're inside Google Contacts. We want to create a marketing list and you do this using the labels feature. Click on the create labels on the left hand side and give your marketing list a name. Let's call it sales. We then want to add the people that we want this email to go out to into, and under that label inside Google Contacts. So let's just click on a couple of people here and then we'll click on the label icon and we'll add them to that sales label that we've just created. Hit apply. That's it, the marketing list is now done and we can jump back over to Gmail. So now we're back in Gmail, what we need to do is click on the Compose button in Gmail and we need to click on this icon down here called Multi-Send Mode. Click on that and the Compose box turns purple and you'll see the Unsubscribe button has been added. We're now in the, we're now in the mode where we can send a marketing email. Remember how we did the lists in Google Contacts, the label in Google Contacts for sales? Let's type that in now. And that's our marketing list. So this email is going to go out to all those people. Of course, you can now compose your email. So give it a name, whatever you want to call it. Put the content in there. And one other thing you can do is you can actually stylize this email before you send it. So if you click on templates, it's probably best to do this before you put the content in the email. Click on choose layout down here, which is the templates. These templates will load up and you can pick which template you want. You can also change the styling of the template here. So if you want to set your colors and things like that and branding, click on that and then you can put your logo in there you can put your colors in there and you can pick the font you want you can also do your footer details so that automatically gets applied to the bottom of the email and any links that you want to include in that footer at the bottom as well like social media links website links all that kind of stuff once you're happy with that select the template you want and just hit insert click OK it's going to warn you that it's going to override the content you've already got in there so like I said before do this before you add the content to your email so now you've got the template in there, you can now edit it, do what you want to do with it, make it nice and happy. And when you're happy to send it, let's just put a test subject in here. When you're happy to send that, you have to hit continue in the bottom left hand corner. So click continue. What will happen is it's going to give you some warnings about are you meeting your local requirements of people agreed to be in your marketing list and stuff like that. As long as you've done that, hit got it. And then what you can do now is send a preview. If you click send a preview, it'll ask you to enter an email address so you can send a preview to yourself so you can see what it looks like before you go and hit that send all button. Once you hit the send all button, that's it. It's gone to those people and your marketing email has gone out.